Hey everybody, I want to show you what I'm up to today uh, and show you some of my new toys and things I've been experimenting with. Um, these are Jackery Solar Generators is what they're called. And uh, they're new to me, although they've been out for a long time, they're new to me. Um, and so here's the story behind why I have two that are very similar. So I was on Amazon hunting around. Um, it, well, actually, let me start off with this. I was on YouTube. And I was trying to do some experiments on the best way to run my mini fridge while I'm camping. And I stumbled across a video of a, I'll, I'll put a link to it, but it was a, a guy that was um, running his mini fridge, his electric only mini fridge inside of his RV on a Jackery 500. I thought, well, that's like, like I, I didn't know these things existed, but that was such a cool concept to me. In this thing, you've got a battery and you've got a pure sine wave inverter all in one. So, and it's a, it's, you know, it's a nice compact package. I realize you're paying a lot for having that package and for it being a lithium battery, but it was a really cool concept, something that I've actually can find, can see a lot of uses for. So I was really excited about it. I jump on Amazon and I just uh, type in Jackery and I see they're quite expensive for a 500. I, I now realize that that's probably going to be the one that I need to get. I just need to fork over the cash, but I saw this Jackery 240 on Amazon, and it was for 199 bucks, shipped to my door, free returns, um, and I thought, one day shipping. I thought, you know what? Why not just get it and try it? I did look. I know Jackery's website. They don't advertise that these things can run mini fridges, and I didn't see any videos of people trying to do it, but mentally I was thinking, okay, I was able to run that thing on my Kia battery with, it was a 750 watt modified sine wave and i'm pretty sure that 750 watt was peak um i was thinking well this you know this is a 200 watt continuous a 400 watt peak pure sine wave so pure sine waves and and it's a you know jackery is a legit brand i'm thinking this is probably a more efficient inverter than what was than what i was using when i did my original testing with that fridge so i bought it and unfortunately i'll show you what my results were powered up, plug the fridge in, and you can see it tries, well, there it goes, 35 watts output, and then it dumps off. So it pretty quickly decided it was not going to start that mini fridge, and now it's, now it's completely off. So the overload protection kicked in. I was really bummed, but then after getting it, I was like, you know what? I just, I still really like it. You know, even though it couldn't do what I wanted to do, it's lightweight. I think it's, I think it says it's six pounds. It's small. And I could, I could think of other practical purposes. Like I, every year I, I go winter camping and I have a, a, um, heated blanket. And usually we run the generators all night to be able to run a, a heated blanket is, is just a, a hundred Watts or so. And I only use it initially to fall asleep. It, it has a timeout of three hours. I can run a heated blanket on this thing, no problem. I think I actually tested it, and um, I ran it on low, and it only used about 30% of the battery. So, you know, just some fuzzy math. I can probably get about 10 hours of continuous runtime with that heated blanket on this Jackery. Plus, it has a built-in solar charger, and I have some solar panels that... Um, I bought an adapter and plugged it in and sure enough, it worked. I have an old hundred watt solar panel I bought a long time ago. I don't really use for anything, but I plugged in that adapter, plugged it in and it was charging at 60 watts, which is actually the, from what I've researched, the fastest this thing can accept a charge anyway. So I was real excited and then I thought, okay, let me go on their website and see what the next size up, you know, see what deals they have, maybe watch the prices and if they start to come down, bite off on a 500. Well, then I stumbled across the 300. So now that's why I have the 300. I started researching the 300 and it was in, it was, it's only, I think it was six, it was 269. So roughly 70 bucks more expensive, but you're getting for that extra 70 bucks, you're getting an extra 60 watt hours so it's a larger capacity battery you're getting dual inputs i don't know if you guys can see that this has a better charger a solar charger 
capability, so it can charge at 100 watts, uh, supposedly, I think 90 watts maybe, um, on this, so it'll it'll charge, it'll be able to accept more, more current from my solar panel if my solar panel can punch it out, but then it can also simultaneously charge on USB PW, which is another 60 watts. Um, I actually had both of those plugged in uh, as a test, and it was uh, sucking in at 120 watts. That That's pretty surprising so roughly if if you know if everything's aligned correctly this thing can recharge at double the speed that this one can it can suck in double the watts so it's got a second power port which whatever but it also has a 300 watt inverter 500 watt peak so same thing i thought well okay if I can dream and I can really hope that this can run my mini fridge and then this will solve all my problems because another scenario I have is I'm going to be camping and I'm going to occasionally start my generator to run something or, you know, maybe just to top some stuff off, but I don't want to run it all day, right? But the solar, what if the sun's out while I'm running the generator? I can always keep solar hooked up to this, and then I can plug the generator into this. So now, when I'm actually running the generator to, to create, you know, to get, to get some current, I can steal a little bit of that while I've got the solar. If I was using this, I would have to unplug the solar panel and plug my generator in. So during that time, I'm wasting the power that I would be getting from the sun. On this one, I can take them both. So I really liked that about this. So I bought it and let's do this test again. So it fired up, plug the fridge in. You can hear it try. It's counting up, it's saying 193 watts and then it drops back off to zero. So unfortunately, same problem. This cannot run my mini fridge. Uh, I would have loved it if it could have, but it's just the, the reality is it can't. Now, I know you can buy 12-volt mini fridges um, that, that are com still compressor style, but I've got – I really don't want to buy another fridge. I've got too many fridges here. Um, that's just something else I've got to keep in store. Long term, it may be a good idea, but – I really just think a, a buying the Jackery 500 would be an all-around better deal for me because now I've got a bigger Jackery and I've got the um, fridge. I'm planning on keeping this 300 just because, again, I, I still like this, this size. Who knows? Maybe when the 500 comes in, I'll decide I should return the 300 because they're redundant. Really, they're not redundant, though. This is it's, – it's the same – well, let, let me go back to say this, okay? If you're thinking about buying a Jackery in this size, go with the 300. Pay the little extra money. You're getting a lot more for your money in this package. They're roughly the same size. They're roughly the same well, – I'm sorry. They're exactly the same size. They're roughly the same weight. But you're getting a better, better, more efficient charging. You're getting multiple charging options. You're getting – uh, better USB ports, you're getting a better inverter, and you're getting a better battery. All around, it's better. It, it's definitely worth the extra cost. I wanted to point out one other thing, too. The power adapter that came with the 240 is a 64-watt adapter. The power adapter that came with the 300 is a 90-watt power adapter, so you're still getting better a better power cord with the with the 300. I, I'm, I'm kind of Bum that I'm going to return the 240, but again, like I said, I just, to me, they're toys, right? You want to keep your toys. You you get these toys and you have a lot of fun with them. But, uh, you know, unfortunately, like I said, they're redundant. The 300 is the better one. I'm going to keep the 300. Hopefully the 500, I'm watching the price on it. And if it gets to a point where I kind of want to, I think it's worth biting off on, I'll, I'll bite off on it. And then uh, my plan there is to have it plugged into my solar panel and running my mini fridge while I'm off grid camping. And then I'll just leave it like that. Um, you know, the continuous on this fridge is between 60 and 70 Watts, according to my kilowatt. So if I'm able to, you know, and that's when it's running. So let's say it runs 50% of the time cause it's cycling on and off. If my solar panel is producing 60 Watts, then I'm actually netting a gain during the day. So that's kind of cool. During the day, I wouldn't necessarily be discharging. If anything, I'd be slightly recharging. And then I'm going to have my small generator there to help every once in a while to, to push a little extra power into the batteries. Um, but then overnight, I can shut the generator off and I can sleep in peace and quiet and not have to worry about the sound of the generator. And I can still keep a cold fridge. 
One more quick real-world example of why the 300 is, in my opinion, better than the 240. I bought this on Amazon. Now, it should come to no surprise to any of us. This is rated for 300 watts. This <clears throat> It's an electric water kettle. It boils water using electricity, an electric heating element. So, as at rated at 300 watts, it should be no surprise that the 200 watt inverter only runs it for a little while before it hits its overload. So I'll just kind of show you that real quick. I'm gonna turn this on. It's saying 50, 100, 150, 167. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so now it's at 304, 305 watts. It's allowing it for a little while because it peaks, this inverter peaks at 400. There it goes, it just shut off. So we didn't get that much run time. I'm going to run the same thing on the Jackery 300. Now this one's rated for 300 continuous, so in theory I could pull 300 watts on it 24 hours a day, well, until the battery inside died, but it's continuous. And I can slightly go above it for a short amount of time. I don't know how long this thing takes. I just recently bought it. Um, I don't know how long it takes to boil, but it's showing I'm at 280 watts. So, um, I'm not even at 300. So this thing could, could in theory run it continuously and I should be able to get boiled water. So there's another practical, I mean, I bought this thing for, you know, just quick being able to boil water for, uh, for food without having to make a fire or get propane or anything like that. It's just kind of quick and easy. Um, and the 300 can handle it. The 240 cannot. Thanks for watching. Um, when I get, hopefully I order, eventually I get a 500 and um, I'll shoot another quick video showing you how it runs that fridge and um, maybe I'll get to show you some footage of it in action while I'm actually out um, using it.